Hello everybody, Sophie Goose here with another unboxing video. Um, today's been a pretty interesting day and I was feeling a little bit brave so I decided to do a little bit different unboxing than what I usually do and cover a little bit of Littlest Pet Shop stuff. So um, fun fact, I really like Littlest Pet Shop. Um, I was into it a lot as a kid because it was one of those toy lines that both me and my sister really liked. And uh, so we had a lot of them. We had our own little stories. There were a couple of dollhouses where all our little Littlest Pet Shops lived. And then we had families and little stories and that kind of thing. And uh, it's always kind of been on my back burner. But recently Hasbro has come out with a somewhat controversial, <laughs> to say the least, um, new expansion slash toy line for Littlest Pet Shop. And I thought I would show a pack that I actually picked up a few months ago. I think I got this thing all the way back in September on sale. Um, to show off some of these new Lucky Pets. And as is Littlest Pet Shop YouTube tradition, I have selected a Littlest Pet Shop to represent myself. Um, in this case being Lady Luck, the fox, who was my most recent Littlest Pet Shop obtainment. Uh, I actually got her out of a, one of the blind bags for Lucky Pets, so I was very happy about that. And I'm hoping that today she'll bring me a little bit of luck on this pack because... Give me a second here while I grab it. Also, if you hear anything in the background, that's my dog. She's literally sitting right behind me as uh, I'm filming here. She she likes to snuggle, so she's kind of around. But today, we're looking at this bad boy. Yeah, so this is the LPS Lucky Pets 10-pack, I think it is. Um, it comes with a few different things in here as I destroy my set. Yeah, that's another thing. Today's my first attempt at uh, filming on my new set, my... Uh, little Fortnite set that I built out of all my extra bits. But basically, what comes in this box is you get three little classic scale pets, so regular sized LPS like Lady Luck back there, one mini scale pet, and then a bunch of their little charms that have been coming with this series and a collector guide. So this one is a little bit interesting. It comes with a pair of dice. Not sure if you can see those rattling around in there. There's some sort of weird game slash gimmick with these. The idea behind the LPS Lucky Pets being that, you know, they'll tell your fortune through mystical and magical stuff that has to do with these charms that they have on their heads and come with. So um, we're going to be taking a look at that. Um, I think on the front here it shows basically everyone you can get. Um, I know that a lot of people in the LPS community are kind of uncomfortable with the way that some of these look and they don't like the weird color schemes and the kind of lack of detail paint that's been coming out in this series, but I'm actually really excited about these. <laughs> um, I love weird color schemes on figures and I love when companies just go all out with weird neon colors every once in a while. It makes me happy. <laughs> it's silly, but it makes me happy. But today I have a few of these I'm particularly aiming for. Um, I'd really like to get a hold of this green rabbit right here. Um, I'd love to get this lion because I don't have an LPS lion. I really want this narwhal, but it's one of the ultra rare ones, so I'm not expecting anything crazy. I'd love either of the dogs, honestly. There's a couple of different dogs. There's like this orange one over here, a red one, and a brown one. I think the brown one is also a uh, ultra rare. And there's also this bee. A few people have said they don't like the look of this bee because it looks a little too mammalian and kind of looks like it has bear ears, but uh, I think it's cute, so I would like to get it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get the clear wrap off of this and we'll see how this goes. Um, I'm not sure if the dice have like a specific game that goes with them or something where you're supposed to, you know, slowly open them one by one using the dice or something like that, or if the dice are just in there for some other reason. So I'm looking for some instructions on here. I'm not seeing any. So we have like a one, two, three. Oh my gosh. It's like three different layers of tape in here. Hasbro, please. That's one thing I will say about the Lucky Pets so far. Um, the only ones I've gotten are a couple of the blind bags and I don't like that they cost $5, have one little pet in them with a random charm that doesn't even come with a bracelet. And then disposable packaging. Like you have to throw out the whole foam fortune cookie it comes with. You can't reuse it. I do think that that's a little bit bad and I don't like it. But um, so it looks like there aren't any instructions here. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Um, I think just to make this more fun, if I can get in there. 
Let me get in there. Let me get in there. Holy crap, this packaging is weird. So yeah, I don't see any instructions or anything, but uh, I think just to make this fun, since there's five different little sections in here, and we have a die with six sides, we're gonna roll the die, and each number it lands on is gonna be the part of this little set all open. We'll start at like one, two, three, four, five, and uh, we'll open from there. If we get a six, we'll just roll again. So we'll have lady luck here. Please bring me luck. Bring me the narwhal or particularly the bunny. I would be really happy with the bunny. So roll one. We have a one. So one is in flap number one. Is a wee little blind bag. And I think this is the mini pet, just looking at it. And yes, it is. It is a little glittery orange kangaroo. That's actually really cute. I don't have a kangaroo in the mini scale. So if you've never seen mini scale LPS before, they're like a little bit smaller, like maybe 50% smaller than regular LPS. And they don't have a head bobble, but they do have a head swivel. So you can kind of move them around and pose them like that. I have a few mini scale pets. I'm not too big of a fan of them, but you know, they're neat. I, I like how creative they can get with some of them because you get some animals in the mini scale you don't get as much of in the full scale. So let's see who we get next. Number five. Okay, so that's going to be the one right underneath that one. Hmm. I can see a face. I can't tell who it is, but we have a blind bag. Pop open. And, ah! I got one of the dogs! I got one of the ones I was looking for! Look! Oh my goodness! That's awesome! Right off the bat! Got one of the ones I wanted! That's awesome! So it is a like salmon pink dog. I'm not sure what breed this is. There's a lot of different breeds of dog for uh, LPS, but he has, um, this looks like a guy to me. I know that in LPS, you're allowed to gender your pets any way you want, but this this looks like a dude to me. Uh, sorry if that is kind of an unpopular opinion. I've, I've never done any videos for the LPS community before. Please be nice to me. Has like a lilac tuft of hair and a glittery bone on the back of his head. That's a really nice pet. I really like that. That's that's something I just really like about Lucky Pets in general so far from what I've seen is just these fun, outlandish color schemes. So, so far, so good. Thank you, Lady Luck. You're doing great already. So, roll again. We have three. Okay. So, one, two, three. So, one of these is just going to have the charms it. You're kidding me! You're kidding me! I don't know if you guys can see that, but I can. Um, hello? <laughs> hello? Hello? Oh, there she is! Oh my goodness, that's amazing! This is, just for reference, this is one of the ultra rare pets that comes in this assortment. Um, holy crap! <laughs> Oh, my little troll ball fell back in the background there. Holy mackerel! Or should I say holy narwhal? Oh my goodness, look at how cute! Ah! I love LPS that aren't like the traditional cat and dog and mammal kind of pets. So, oh my goodness, this is amazing! And look, she shares the same charm as Lady Luck. Is this one of your friends, Lady Luck? I'm, I'm happy you brought her along. That's awesome! That's so cool! Oh my goodness, the freaking two for two so far! Holy crap! Okay, we already got that one. All right, number four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so this one is the checklist and charms. We can take a look at the checklist once we're all done here. We're done with the excitement. I don't know, I'm already happy with what I got here. My goodness. But uh, as you can see here, we get, this doesn't usually come with Lucky Pets. This is one of the little um, clips that you can put the charms onto. I have, one second, do I actually have one over here? Yes, I do. So these little clips used to come with kind of this one brand of teensy pets they had for a while. 
Um, teensy scale pads being extra tiny little things. And they had these little charms, these little lockets they'd sit in. I'm not sure if you can see the little eyeballs popping out in there, but there's a very tiny cat inside of this little locket. And they would use these clips so you could clip them onto your keys or wherever and take them with you. But in this case, they give you a clip to put all of your little charms on because the Lucky Pets each come with a little charm that I guess the idea is you're supposed to take it around with you and keep it as a lucky charm in your day-to-day -day life. I don't know, it's just a lot of people have been saying that they were preferred not to have these charms and instead have accessories, and I can't really argue with that, especially not for the price point. But, um, holy crap, we are doing very good today so far. Um, we only have one figure left to open here, only one little box part to open. I'm very excited. I don't know who it's going to be, but at this point, I don't care who it is. I'm just so happy with everything we've got. So we can see one last little baggie here. Pop it open and... Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, you're kidding me. One of the other ones I wanted. One of the other dogs. Oh my goodness. Wow, I did not expect this to go this way at all. I expected to maybe get one of the ones I wanted at like the least amount. Like, oh, oh my goodness. Look at this. I think this is, I can't, I, I want to say thanks to the body and like the way that it's long, it's a dachshund or a dachshund, I believe is how it's properly pronounced. But yeah, just this cute little beige little pupper. Um, to me, this is a girl LPS. I'm sure other people have different interpretations, which is something I like about the LPS community that I've seen is they pretty much it's open field to make your own characters and your own stories and any character can be anything. If you want, we have a little glittery bow on there. So, yeah. Um, so basically what you get out of this set is you get the three big pets, one little pet, and then the little charms that go with uh, each of them here. I'm going to assume that this one comes with this kangaroo because Miss Beautiful Narwhal comes with her little leaves. So let's take a look at this checklist. Do they have names? Oh, they do have names! Oh, so we can go over the names. But yeah, as you can see at the top here, Miss Narwhal, who is named Win-Win, because this box was definitely a Win-Win, is an ultra lucky, so basically an ultra rare. Um, who else do we have? We have Cadet, who does indeed come with that little bone, who is a regular or rare or just like a common, essentially, that are referred to as lucky here. Um, we have Dusk, the Dachshund, which is an amazing name, and I'm keeping it. Um, let's see here. And we have Rubyette. Rubyette. That's a really cool name, too. I might keep that. So, yeah, looks like in the current assortment, there are 16 pets to collect in this one. Um, there's been a lot of people talking about this 150 to collect thing. Um, that 150 to collect... Um, tagline that's up there, I believe it has to do with the entire Lucky Pets line, so all of the waves together are going to be 150. I wish Hasbro would stop freaking advertising them that way, though, because that's just kind of false. There's only 16 to get in these boxes, so that's kind of the thing. If I were to go for another one of these, I'd really love to get Roly Poly the Rabbit. <laughs> the Sweet Ginger? The lion's name is Sweet Ginger? Oh, it's all really cute. Oh my goodness. So I am over the moon happy right now with my freaking thing that I bought expecting to get one LPS that I actually liked. I got three of the ones I was looking for. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm very, very happy with this whole thing. But um, just as a kind of thing in general about the Lucky Pets, I know a lot of people are unhappy with the way that they're kind of, like, you can see with this one, the only real paint detail on this entire pet are the eyes and this weird glittery charm that's put on it, as opposed to, say, let me see, what's what's a good example of a pet I have nearby or on hand? I do have, like, for example, you have this G2 Jack Russell. He's got, like, a gradient on his body. He's got facial markings. He's got the eyes. He's got a nose. This guy's in a little bit bad condition. I was trying to fix him up. Um, I do have this little flying squirrel, I believe it is, one of the mini pets. And even with this one, you can see there's like tampos on the face, 
There's like a little bit of gradient with the ears, that kind of thing. Like that's the kind of paint detail. Oh, perfect. I even have this little um, puffer fish that I got from my uh, set I got at Five Below recently, actually. But um, as you can see, like most of these have a lot of paint detail, but the Lucky Pets, they kind of don't. They kind of just come molded in one color with like very few accents and that kind of thing. And they have this random charm on them. And then they're basically charging you an extra dollar for this. Yeah, that. Dog is jangling her collar as she bounces around. But uh, I understand why some people are really uncomfortable with the way that Lucky Pets have been, especially with the price point, given how little detail they have and that kind of thing. And I understand that. Um, I really do. But at the same time, I just, I love freaking weird neon colored figures. It's, it's kind of my aesthetic. So... Like, I get it. I'm not sure if I'll go in for another 15 bucks on another one of these sets, especially considering I had such good luck on this one. But um, if I find them on sale, I really need to find that green rabbit. But overall, I'm just over the moon and happy about what I got. Thank you very much, Lady Luck. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is a little bit different. If you want to hear me ramble some more about Littlest Pet Shop and maybe do some more unboxings and just kind of discuss stuff in general because as much as I don't keep up with this line as much anymore, I do love the community that's around it. There's a ton of people making tons of videos and content and stories and like these little short films and everything like that using LPS as characters and making settings and that kind of thing that is just really, really cool. So I do enjoy the line if for nothing else than what it represents to a wider creative community. But for now, I'm very happy with what I got. <laughs> So um, I hope y'all have a good one and that uh, you enjoyed this and I'll see you later.